Hi friends, how are you? Happy Monday. Um, it's the start of a brand new week. Today is Monday. How is everybody? I hope you all had a great weekend. Go ahead and tell me, what did you do this weekend? Oh, that's so exciting. I love it. I'm glad that you had a great weekend. Um, we are going to talk a little bit about feelings today to start off the video. Remember, this is Miss Jen with my mask on, but there's no one else in here, so I'm going to pull my mask down so it's easier to hear me. Um, inside of your folders for this week, you have Munster flashcards, and I think that we've seen them before. This is, I think, I feel like I've seen them before in the packets. And um, we're just going to review some of the emotions that we might feel. And then when we're done, I want you to tell me how you're feeling today. So, let's pull out a monster, our emotion monster here, and you tell me how you think they're feeling, okay? How do you think this little monster's feeling? Yeah, good job. He's happy. Excellent. Hmm. How's this little guy feeling? See the frown? Sad. He's sad. What about this guy? He's jumping, or she. They're jumping, they got their hands in the air, they have um, a smile on their face. How do you think this one's feeling? Yeah, you're right, he's happy, or we can use a different word, he's excited. Can you say that word, excited? Good job. Let's find another one, whoa. How's he feeling? He's got his mouth open, his eyes are real big, he's like, how do you think he's feeling if you were like, ah, scared, good job, scared, what about this one, this one's tough, you might think of a few different words for him or her, they might be sad, maybe you think they're scared, or we can call that worried, can you say worried? Worried means scared or uneasy. Might be a little bit nervous. Good job. What about this one? It's more of like a... How's that person feeling if they're like this? Good job. They're angry or they're mad. Excellent job. Let's see what other one I want to do quick. Oh, this is a fun one. What's he? He looks a little scary. He's got his tongue out though. He's got his eyes up. He's like, ah, what's this one doing? They're being silly, right? They're sticking their tongue out, just joking around, doing a crazy face. They're being silly. Good job. And the last one we're going to talk about, well, we'll just go through the rest of them. There's only a few more. How about this one? He's like, Surprised, right? Somebody might have scared him and then he was surprised. We have this little blue monster. He looks how? Happy, right? They're calling this glad. Do you know what glad means? Glad is being happy. Um, if you're proud of yourself, you might be glad if you did something well. And last but not least, we have these two little friends playing together. What do you think they are? They're being this with each other. They're happy, right? They look happy. They look like they're friends. We call this being friendly. Can you say that word? Friendly. And friendly actually starts with the letter of the week that we're going to talk about today. Do you know what letter that is? F. Good job. And F says so we got F friendly. You try it. F friendly. Good job. So friends, what we can do with these cards that we have is you can flip them over and you can try to match up the emotion. Remember how we said he's probably feeling? With the word. So if you find the scared monster, you can find the scared word and your grown up can help you do that at home. How are you feeling today? Are you happy? Are you excited? Are you a little sad? 
Maybe you're angry. Maybe you're feeling worried. Like, maybe you're feeling silly. It's a little crazy to be silly for a Monday, but you might feel that way. So go ahead and you can play this matching game with either your grown-ups or you can even do it with an older brother or sister. Or if you don't have anybody to play with, then that's okay. Go ahead and look at your monster and think about how do you think that monster feels. Good job. All right, friends. Speaking of our letter, like we were just talking about, what did I say it was? F. Good job. F for friendly or friend. Can you think of any other F words? Did you think of any? I have our F card here. Let's take a look at some of these words that start with an F. Right here, you see the letter. This is a capital F and a lowercase f. We have fan, feet, feather, football, and fish. Good job. All of these words start with the letter F. Can you think of any other words that start with the letter F? Good job. So this is going to be our letter that we practice all week long. We'll do some songs. We'll talk about it. I do want to get out our little magic fingers. Remember, we can write in the air with our magic fingers. So let's talk about the letter F real quick. It's a straight line down. See over here, straight line down. And then you're going to go across at the top and put a dash in the middle. So straight line down, across the top, and the middle. Good job, try it one more time. Straight line down, across the top, and across in the middle. Not really across, but you're gonna go out from our first line we put down. And then our little F, this looks like a candy cane, I say, right? So we're gonna have like a candy cane shape. Think about a candy cane, and then we're gonna cross it in the middle. Can you try that? Start at the top candy cane around and cross in the middle. Good job. And you can get your whiteboards out and you can practice making F's and we'll do that also later in the week. So that's our letter of the day. Today we had a question on the board and I'm going to show you what it is and we're going to read it together. It says, do you know what sound this makes? Do you know know what sound this makes. And I have, this is our sound maker. Have you ever seen one of these before? Do you know what this is called? This is a timer. And when I set the timer, we use this when we're counting down in the classroom here. So if we have five minutes left, we might set a five minute timer. Or sometimes we set it for two minutes to give a two minute warning. Let's listen. You can hear some of the sounds that it's making. You can hear how it's beeping. We're going to set it. You can see it has 10 seconds. Let's watch it count down and listen to what noise it makes once it's counting down to zero. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Do you hear that? It's making a beeping sound. Have you ever heard that beeping sound in your house before? You have? What things beep in your house? Maybe your microwave, your stove. Maybe you've heard your fire alarm go off before in your house. Maybe your grown-up has an alarm clock that they listen to in the morning and it beeps in the morning to wake them up. Good job, friends. We're gonna play a Mighty Minute and it has to do with listening to our sounds. Um, can everybody say, la, la, la? You say it, la, la, la. Good job. We're gonna try to sing, row, row, row your boat. We'll go over that song first, and we're gonna then switch it out for laws. Um, let's try it. So, do you know row, row your boat? Sing it with me. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Good job. Let's sing it one more time just so we definitely have the tune. Ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. 
merrily, 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 life is but a dream, right? Now, friends, we are going to try to, remember last week we talked about syllables. We're going to try to put laws where all the syllables are. So instead of saying row, row, row your boat, we're going to say la, 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 la. Okay, can you try it? La, 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 la. Good job. Now we're going to try to do that through the whole song, okay? So we have la, 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 la. La 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 la. Good job. Let's try it one more time. You ready? La 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 la. Good job, friends. We can try a different sound now. Can you think of a sound you want to try? Maybe you want to just clap it. Did you get that? You could, we could do a different sound. I'm trying to think of another sound. Um, we could just do like ba, like a, like a sheep would say. We could go ba, 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 Good job. Now you go ahead and try. Good job, and you can keep trying all kinds of different um, sounds with that. It's really fun to play with. It's really interesting when you get a lot of people doing it together. All right, good job, friends. We're going to play Simon Says now. Have you ever played Simon Says? You have? That's awesome. Miss Jen's going to be Simon to start. We're going to play for a little bit, and then you can find a grown-up or a sibling or a friend. Excuse me. And they, you can be Simon, and they can copy you, okay? Remember the rules that Simon says. When Simon says to do something, you have to do it. But if Simon doesn't say to stop or to do something else, then you can't. So let's just do a couple examples, okay? Let's play Simon Says. All right, Simon Says, touch your nose. Simon Says, touch your hair. Touch your chin. We don't touch our chin because Simon didn't say so, right? So Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, touch your hair. Simon says, touch your chin. Simon says, touch your elbow. Simon says, clap your hands. Stop. Oh, did you stop? You shouldn't have stopped. Simon didn't say to stop, right? Simon says, stop. Good job, now we stop. Simon says, fly. Simon says, stop. Simon says, shake your shoulders. Simon says, stop. Simon says, go up on your tiptoes. Simon says, come back down flat-footed. Simon says, touch your toes. Simon says, jump. Stop. Don't stop. Simon can say so. Good job if you're still jumping. Simon says, stop. Simon says... To spin around in a circle slowly. Can you spin in a circle slowly? Good job. Simon says stop. Simon says bend over. Simon says bend over the other way to your side. Simon says stand up straight. Simon says touch your eyes. Simon says touch your nose. Touch your shoulders. Oh, we didn't say Simon Says, and Miss Jen still did it, and I'm even Simon. All right, good job. Let's do one more round. See if you can stay on the last body part if I don't say Simon Says, okay? Ready? Simon Says, touch your shoulders. Simon Says, touch your nose. Simon Says, wriggle your fingers. Simon Says, stop. Simon Says, touch your forehead. Touch your ears. Did you touch your ears? If you did, Simon didn't say so. Touch your ears. Simon says touch your ears. Yeah, good job. It's important to follow the rules and to listen. And that's a fun little game that we can use to practice following the rules and listening. So good job. 
go ahead and try and play with a grown-up or another kiddo your age and see if you can trick them um, and get to them to do something when Simon doesn't say so. All right, friends, kind of in the same realm as Simon says, you still are going to need some room. We're going to practice hopping. So jumping occurs on two feet, but when we hop, we do it on one foot. So I want to see if you can jump, then I want to see if you can hop on your right foot, and then I want to see if you can hop on your left foot. So go ahead and back up. Make sure you have enough room. You don't want to run into anything or jump onto anything. So everybody can hop, right? That's with two feet. You can see Miss Jen's hopping on two feet. Good, or I'm sorry, jumping on two feet. Now when you go to hop, you're going to put one leg up and you're going to hop. Can you hop? Good job. Now switch over to the other foot. Can you hop on this foot? Good job. Let's see if we can hop one time. Are you ready? One. Good job. Let's see if we can hop now two times. One, two. Good job. Let's try three times. Are you ready? One, two, three. All right, let's see if we can go to five. Well, let's do four first, I guess. Let's try four. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. And let's see if we can hop five times. One, two, three, four, five. Good job, friends. Now you can go ahead and switch over to your other foot. Are you ready? Let's try it on your other foot. You ready? One. Let's try two times. One, two. Let's try three times. One, two, three. Did you have to put your foot down? That's okay. Let's try four times. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. And last but not least, let's try five times. One, two, three, four, five. Now, I want you to see how many times you can count, or how many times you can hop on one foot. Go ahead, are you ready? Get set, go. Wow, that was such a good job. How many times did you do it? Awesome, you rock. Good job, friends. There's a read aloud on the calendar today, uh, grown-ups, that you can go ahead and go to. Um, I'm gonna end our time today on a special song. It's about feelings, and I thought it would be a good day, good song to wrap up today's lessons about feelings earlier, and I thought it was super cute. So friends, let me get that for you. This song is called Feelings and Emotion Songs for Kids, and it's um, through Fun Kids on YouTube. We do not own the rights to the song. Um, again, you're going to want to spread out. This one has lots of movement again, so we're going to go ahead and do this. Move around and talk about feelings. One second, the mission has to go get the speaker. All right, friends. Oops. All right, here we go. What do you do when you're happy? What do you do when you're happy? When I'm happy. I laugh. Can I hear you laugh? When I'm happy, 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 happy I laugh, 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 what do you do when you're sad? What do you do when you're sad? When I'm sad, I cry. When I'm sad, 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 I cry, 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 Let's see what they feel next. What do you do when you're angry? Oh, when you're when angry. When I'm angry, I stomp my feet. Let me see you stomp your feet. When I'm angry, 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 I stomp my feet. Can you stomp your feet? Stomp my feet. I stomp my feet. Angry. When I'm angry, 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 I stomp my feet. Let me see you stomp your feet when you're angry. Good job, friends. Let's see their next.
mixed emotion here. What do you do when you're hungry? Oh, when you're hungry, what when do you do I when you're hungry? hungry? I when eat you're a hungry. snack. Mm. When I'm hungry, 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 I eat a snack. Eat a snack, I eat, Can you eat a, a snack? snack. When I'm hungry, 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 I eat a snack. Yum, 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 yum. yum. If we were sad before we what ate. What do you do when you're sleepy? Oh, sorry, friends. When there's I'm one more. Sleepy, I go to sleep. You go to sleep? Do you snore? When I'm sleepy, 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 sleepy I go to sleep. 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 like that? Oh no, it's okay if you are. All right, friends, that was our feeling song to end our day today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you can, again, you can watch that on YouTube and you can also start practicing the letter F's at home. Remember, straight line down, across the top, across the middle, and like a candy cane with a line across, okay? All right, friends, it was happy learning with you today. I hope you all have a great evening, and I will see you soon. Hearts, friends, love you.